call myself and Hobo Hobo Baggins. Welcome back <laughs> to the latest anime news. <laughs> Ending April 9th, 2022 with a bombshell. Crunchyroll is not going to do ad-supported streaming anymore. Um, now that Crunchyroll is the uncontested top dog in the anime streaming world, it seems a few more changes are on the way after its merger with Funimation. Starting with the spring season lineup, the service no longer offers free ad-supported viewing for new episodes. So fans will have to have a paid subscription to watch most new and continuing simulcasts. The first three episodes of certain new spring 2022 shows will be available for free ad-supported view ad viewing for a limited time, including Spy Family and seven others. Um, hmm. These first three episodes will be available for ad-supported viewing for one week after their premieres on Crunchyroll. The service confirmed that episodes of anime prior to the spring season will still be available to watch with ads. So this is not retroactive. This is just moving forward with new shows. To be clear. Um, Funimation's YouTube channel has also been one thing in the past. As of this week, <clears throat> it officially has become the Crunchyroll Dubs channel. Boy, that's weird. Huh. Yeah. Um, hmm. The channel will continue to stream anime clips, trailers, and full English dubbed episodes. And will also post a dubbed first episode every Saturday at 3 Eastern, 3 p.m. Eastern, starting with ReZero episode one this morning. Hmm. I gotta say, I'm not thrilled with this. I saw some discussion about uh, uh, their choices, mm -hmm. and yeah. the the frequent word that came up uh, was piracy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that people are going to you know now that you're removing this option, it, uh, the ads are annoying, but yeah. people were still tuning into Crunchyroll mm -hmm. and going through the ads to see new things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know the the consensus seemed to be in in that the the thread below the article was that. Now, if you're not going to do that anymore, what's yeah. what makes it worth their while to tune into Crunchyroll and they can just go to fan subbing sites and mm -hmm. just get it for free? Right. Free, especially when everyone has an ad blocker. So yeah. going to Crunchyroll, even with ads, like didn't matter. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. It's like I would have thought they would have said, you know, it doesn't hurt us any to just keep doing this, mm -hmm. and it keeps people coming here yeah. who can, you know, tune in to us. The, the you know, people buying the license and what's versus weird is, going otherwise. I could understand the argument of saying infrastructurally, we're just going to move away from an ad-based platform. It's just going to be, you know, entirely subscription-based and no more ads because we don't want to deal with an ad, ad system and all that kind of stuff. But but they're keeping that. It's still going to be right. there for the old shows. So <clears> it's like, why, why would you just stop that moving forward? It seems so odd. It's just you're pushing the, the cash grab. Yeah, it's like yeah. you know, well, we don't we don't want to offset you know what losses there are and the licenses we have that we know piracy goes on. Yeah, we're just gonna say nope. Now you just gotta subscribe. People are gonna be like, ha, 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 yeah, yeah, free market, bye bye. The, 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 the anime fandom has not responded well to that in the past. <laughs> nope, <laughs> and it won't respond well to this nope. either. So hey, nope. here we yeah. go. It's kind of shocking. Well, we'll see whether they figure out you know the next six months or so like wow it's kind of stupid <laughs> well and granted it could be kind of like the thing with anaplex where anaplex had these ridiculously high prices because they were like we are targeting the few people who will pay those prices and yeah. they will spend enough maybe like there are enough people with on crunchyroll who already have a subscription <clears throat> doesn't affect them like me right they're going to keep on yeah, doing right. it that's fine and yes there'll be pi people doing piracy whatever but we've reached critical mass you know that could possible. be I mean, it wasn't that long ago when Crunchyroll was talking about how many million yeah. uh, paid subscribers, mm -hmm. three million unique viewers, and one million paid subscribers. Yeah. Like that. Maybe that's the threshold now that the yeah. merge has happened and they pulled the Funimation people into Crunchyroll. Maybe they're looking at it and being like, well, eh, you know, we got this many. It's yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. Who cares if we lose yeah. a few? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could well be. Um, moving on, Banda Namco Group unveiled a new visual and teaser video for the upcoming. Robosuit Gundam, the Witch from Mercury series, a couple weeks ago. This yeah. will be the first new Gundam TV anime in seven years. Mm. And now the first main Gundam TV series to have a female hero. Um, kind of, sort of, technically. Um, from what I can tell, it will, it will have a female as its central character. 
Um, Gundam Bill Fighters Try actually started with a female protagonist, but then brought in two other protagonists as sort of a trio. Um, so I just want to call that out, that it has happened before in Gundam, but it is this is technically the first, okay, female character as the central character throughout the show. Um, as yet unnamed girl was revealed along with a rebel suit called the Gundam Ariel. Um, the company also revealed a prequel project from the anime title Bubbles of Gundam The Witch from Mercury Prologue. Clever name. Um, mm-hmm. which will be a full-fledged project featuring its own story and unique mobile suits. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> More Gumball on the way. Yeah. Usually, that's, that's usually right. they'll do like a manga for that or instead of a full anime. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, the prologue will de- debut this summer. Um, first of the various life-size Gundam statues. I think it's awesome that I get to say that. And the upcoming Gundam-based mm-hmm. virtual world. And then mm-hmm. events around Japan and the rest of the world at a later date. Of course, high-grade scale models of the, of the mobile suits are already in production. <laughs> um, Imagine that. Yeah. Um, speaking of the <laughs> virtual world, more shocker. Details, yeah. More details have been revealed about the upcoming $130 million Metaverse project. Um, the Metaverse p- uh, platform will be a fusion between physical and digital services where users will be able to purchase Gunpla, upload images and data of their Gunpla, and interact with and battle other players. The platform will inter- integrate Ooh. various Gundam IP, toys, anime, music, games. As colonies, ha ha, um, each offering their own unique services connected through a central space hub called Side G. <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> the details are still being worked out. Obviously, the company plans to take 2,000 games into account during this testing phase. Um, they're going to launch, their, the, the first colony they're going to launch will be, of course, an esports colony, launching sometime this year, focusing on Gundam Evolution and Battle Operation 2. Um, and the Gundam-based Gunpla Colony store will have a test opening in the fall before an official launch in 2023. The company aims oh to operate God. a full, large-scale metaverse by 2025. So basically, I just bought my laptop, my new laptop, just in time. Right, exactly, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the question is really what form that's going to take. Yeah, as, as, as Jay's saying, so it's an MMO, basically, right? I, like, it sounds yeah. like it. But, like, is it an MMO yeah. where you're going around and buying Gunpla? Um, how much interaction are you... Like, are you playing that, or is it Second Life? That's what I want to know. Like, like, how much actual gameplay is it, or is it just, like, a virtual space? I, I'm, I don't know. Hmm. And you have, like, one big giant shop floor, and everybody's yeah. got their Gunpla just sort of walking <laughs> yeah, exactly. along. They, walk, they just walk up to each other. You don't battle. It's just like, hey, man, cool Gunpla. Where'd you get it? Hey, I got it over here. Follow me. It's <laughs> so fun. Yeah. Basically a giant virtual shopping space. <laughs> Great. It'll be very popular for a week. Uh, who yeah. knows? Oh, for the serious Gunpla people? No, they'll be in there buying stuff, like, all the time. Well, you gotta go there for the exclusive merch. Exactly. Because you know that'll be a thing. Uh Uh-huh. You can't get this anywhere else unless you're in the colony to buy it at the virtual store. Oh, damn you crafty bastards. I'll I'll, I'll be there. I'll go. (laughs) I'll go. I'll do it. (laughs) Take my money, please. (laughs) I Seriously, though, I hope, like, I hope they put in the time to make it an O'Neill cylinder. Like, put uh, me in an actual colony space. Even if, you know, it's literally just like, like a street's worth of it, right? But it, if I can just, like, see the, you know, the, the giant cylinder overhead right. and yeah. all that stuff, like, I, I'll be there just for that. Definitely. Um, but speaking of, of big companies, um, a much bigger company, um, a while back we talked about how Disney Plus is planning to branch out into the anime world. And if the recent business mm-hmm. seminar at Anime Japan is something to go by, uh, the company is very serious. Um, they held a seminar aimed at Japanese businesses to discuss Disney's ambitions in the streaming market and their desire to represent works from around the world. The head of anima- the Japanese head of animation at Disney, there's a title. Yeah. Um, identified anime as a focus point for the company. He said there is a big emphasis on diversifying their content and promised that, quote, we deeply respect the works of Japanese creators and we will transmit them overseas just the way they are, <coughs> quote. He mentioned the Star Wars Vision series and the Disney Twisted Wonderland game as examples of successful collaborations between Disney IPs and Japanese creators. I think it's hilarious that he did not mention Kingdom Hearts. 
Um, <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> is there a why? Yeah. Um, and emphasize how the... Can't imagine. Yeah. The Disney difference allows unique things that can only be accomplished through partnership with Disney. Mm. Uh, I would like to see their version of the Ichi the Killer. Yeah. <laughs> Higarashi, Disney style. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. No. Wow. New nightmares. I, I, I want to see <clears throat> Disney. Oh, no. Anyway, um, the company has, quote, no. great expectations for producing local content, end quote, oh. including completely new works from Japan. And this is already a thing, as we know, because the new Black Rock Shooter anime is on Disney+. Plus. And it's not just right. it's not just happens to be there in the freaking title cards. It's yep. blah 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 Disney Plus in the freaking credits. Blah blah yep. blah Disney Plus. Absolutely. So yep. it's not that they just you know happen to be streaming that. No, their hands are all in it. Yep. <laughs> like all oh, the whole yeah. thing. Like, and woo. again, in all fairness, <laughs> like it opens with a naked girl in a vat. You know, and the vat drains and coming out and then unplugging herself, you know, Neo Matrix style. Like, it's definitely not Mickey Mouse. <laughs> it's very anime. It's like, wow. They're doing a thing. I would have laughed if it had been Minnie Mouse. <laughs> yeah. came out of the vat be like, this is an odd interpretation of the show, but I'm going to follow it. For it. I'll follow it. <laughs> so, very, very interesting. Um, I mean, not surprising Disney sees anime as a thing. They're like, we, we want a piece of that. You yeah, know, it's, sure. It's profitable. Let's do the thing. Sure. Jay, just put an image I, in my head. I just saw that too. Elfin Lee with Mickey Mouse. Oh. God, the oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, someone get, get on that with Photoshop. Stat. Wow. Um, yeah, that's just oh, holy. Boy. Boy. That's, that, that's a level of wrong right there. It's a whole other yeah. level. Boy. Absolutely. <laughs> um, all right. Um, Death Note with L played by like Goofy. <laughs> 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 all right, let's do the investigation. <laughs> I have the Death Note. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be this world's new god. <laughs> I'm going to do everything correct. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, I, I oh no. I now that. Steve's childhood dreams have just been shattered. Well, uh, Ginger and I were talking on Twitter um, uh, about um, um, edited down versions of shows. And I was like, I actually want to see a G-rated version of Akira. Oh, wow. I would pay money to see how you do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It would be 20 minutes long, in fairness, but also just like, what do you right. do? Yeah, anyway. what do you cut? What do you cut out? <laughs> <laughs> what do you leave in? Yeah, it'll, it'll, like, it'll never make any sense. <laughs> yeah. It's like, geez, that's, what, that's what the parents go, okay, Paul Control is. God. All right. Yeah. Uh, also, this month, because it's been a while. Um, new anime announcements. Adult Swim announced it's ordered two more seasons of Furry Curry. Bit of a surprise. Um, titled, subtitled Grunge and Shoe Gaze. And a new anime series called Housing Complex Seed to honor the 25th anniversary of Tsunami. Jeez, doesn't that make you feel oh, <laughs> a little on yep. the old side? A little on the old side. Oh. Uh, I remember. Mm hmm. So now we've got fully coolly progressive oh. alternative, and we're going to get grunge and shoegaze. Yep, mm -hmm. shoegaze. Yeah. So now yeah. we're we're up to original and four. Yeah. Like five cast on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Love that thing. Um, and and will the pillows do it all? Yes. Exactly. I hope so because I I, I, I really enjoyed the soundtrack. Yep. So absolutely. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Jay, you're making it better. Um. It's a small world after all. Elfin Lee, Akira. Oh, um, oh anyway. boy. Um, also coming later this year, a proper anime series based on Ruby titled Ruby Ice Queendom, animated that, by yeah. Shaft. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. Watch that. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Damn. Damn. Um, and more than that, um, I'm going to double check here. Um... 
do 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 um um Gen Urobuchi is in charge of planning it. You know, mm. that guy. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be an interesting one. Wow, Rooster Teeth really uh, uh really really upsold RWBY. Mm -hmm. oh, go kids go. Yeah. <laughs> um Gundam Double O is getting a new CG anime project titled Revealed Chronicle. He's posted his first short episode on YouTube last week. Um, it'll fill in gaps in the original anime and reveal secrets of universe technology and anecdotes from the production development phase of the animated series, which is cool. Um, several new original anime series announced recently. Um, Kanakawa unveiled Love Flops, which made a comedy TV anime. Um, Anaplex revealed uh, Engage Kiss, another TV rom-com. Um, Universal Japan is producing Opus Colors, which centers on childhood friends in the new field of perception art. I don't know. Hmm. And uh, there is an uh, anime called Buchigire, a historical anime with character designs by Hiroyuki Takei of Shaman Kid, which is cool. Um, okay. hmm. Very intrigued because he has a very distinct art style. So seeing like I was going to say that. That's going to be, yeah. Yeah. Um, six new manga adaptations also announced since our last news update. Um, coming next year are adaptations of uh, Ragna Crimson, a Dragon Hunter manga, um, a dog's viewpoint romantic comedy called If I Became a Dog, I'd, I'd Be Picked Up by the Person I Like, which, you know, we've all had that thought. Um, um, dead, Dead Demons, Day, 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 day Destruction. Um, uh huh. Um, <laughs> Uh, anime adaptation of Witch Hunt Atelier, which is a lovely um, uh, uh, manga. Um, level 1 Demon Lord and a One Room Hero, about a hero moving in with the, uh, the defeated Demon Lord. Um, uh, four people lie, their, lie in their own way, girls keeping secrets from each other. And a tentative reveal of the yokai next to me, a heartwarming story of humans, yokai, and gods living together in a rural town. Um, of course, also some light novel um, um, adaptations as well. Spy Classroom, which is about a pro spy as his new team of inexperienced washouts attempt an impossible mission. Um, Farming Life in Another World, which I've read the manga of. I'm very curious <laughs> to see where that goes. Um, and then um, My Happy Marriage, also coming. Um, and then the um, Sky Children of Light video game and Break of Dawn. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, the video game doing anime project. There's also an anime film adaptation of a juvenile science fiction manga called Break of Dawn coming in fall. Hmm. And um, also a note, there'll be a one-hour special May 1st to celebrate Chibi Maruko-chan's 1,500th episode. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good lord. <laughs> as long as there's ten episodes a day, that's that's like nothing for time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no time. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, oh um moving on. Uh we did lose um um as we pointed out, um two important anime and manga industry veterans, uh Fujiko uh Fujio A, um Moto Abiko, uh co creator of Doraemon, passed away at the age of eighty eight. Yeah. Um, uh, also, Mia Ikumi, uh, illustrator of Tokyo Mew Mew, sadly passed away at mm. only 42 years old. Um, she debuted with Superdog Mika chan um, and created Tokyo Mew Mew along with um, uh, writer Riko Yoshida from 2000-2003. So very sad. Um, moving on, uh, Shueisha is now a wholly owned affiliated company called Shueisha Games. Guess what that's for? Um, Games? Yeah! Imagine that. A project already underway with joint collaboration with a major overseas game company. Who knows? Atari. Um, yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> New for the Atari 1500. Sweet. <laughs> and we're going to try E.T. all over again. <laughs> yeah. E.T. reimagined like you've never imagined it. That's a girl. <laughs> to in the first place. Pong Chan. Um... <laughs> Um, Bandai Namco Arts has announced an upcoming 4K remaster of uh, Wings of Honimise, which is awesome. Um, the original director, Hiroyuki Yamaga, will oversee the process. Um, Disco Tech held a live stream uh, last month to announce upcoming projects. Most notably is a full HD release of the 1980 Astro Boy, 
Um, coming to video in May, in Japanese and English, with full uncut versions of the first Japanese episodes, um, which were originally cut into a single episode of an English dub. Um, also working on restorations for the original Devil Man and Dark Stalkers, plus several others. Wow. Good on them. Um, Bandai Namco announced um, Sword Art Online variant Showdown, a smartphone action game set in the SAO universe. Shocker there. Um, mm. And One Piece Odyssey, a new One Piece uh, game coming to consoles and PC sometime this year, with story and character designs by Eiichiro Oda. Um, last up this year marks the 10th anniversary of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure anime, and actually a number of celebratory events are in work. So, um, since this also marks the 10th anniversary of the Tokyo Sky Tree, the two are holding a collaborative JoJo Tree event, uh, May 10th through August 9th. <laughs> with JoJo characters appearing in photo spots around the tower, tower I assume in cardboard form. Um, and special goods and cafe menus and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and there'll be a pop-up theme park called JoJo World 2, or JoJo Worlds, or something, um, with various attractions. Um, let's move on. So, I, go ahead. I, I, real quick, I, it feels like JoJo's venture has been around... Yeah. For longer than 10 years. It feels like it's been around for like, you know, when was I born? I mean, literally, <laughs> it feels like it's 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 been around just, yeah. just forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't really remember the first time I even heard JoJo. So it feels mm-hmm. like it's been longer than 10, but... It's been a while. 10 years is a long time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, all right, let's move on to some fun news, some wacky news. Got to have some, some, some weirdness, because it's anime. Um... One more new anime announcement to cover this week. A new original TV anime is coming this fall called Ekyu Shonen Eternal Boys, following an aspiring idol group at a production company. What's so special about that, you may ask? Well, the idol hopefuls are not the usual teenagers and young adults. They're a group of men in their late 30s and 40s who left behind their real adult jobs to become idols. (laughs) Okay. The Eternal Boys work at, translation, Full Stomach Entertainment Production. And strive to become idols and overcome the three years as their age and physical condition. <laughs> okay, late thirties and forties is not that big an age. No, 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 condition. totally not. But <laughs> now, if you had said uh, it was idols in their sixties, no. yeah, yeah, no, okay, well, that'd be an issue. I can't get these pleather pants off. <laughs> not set for dad bod. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, um, no. We mentioned earlier tonight the Love All Play badminton anime. Um, well, they, they made their the usual voice cast announcements before the premiere on the second, but a few of its cast members are not quite the usual. Two real-life badminton players will appear in the anime voiced by themselves. Oh. It's going to feature real people voiced by the real people. Uh, Yuta Watanabe <laughs> and Arisa Higashino will appear in the anime and do their own voice acting. Um, the animator, the, the anime also features a cat that often wanders around the school setting. And who better to voice an anime cat than a voice actor's cat? So, Natsuki Hanai, who voices the main character, his own cat, will be making his voice acting <coughs> debut as the animated cat, Ramune. Hmm. Meow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure that I would I would know a who the badminton players are that I would be like, oh my gosh, that's the voice. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah, don't know. <laughs> and the cat, maybe I might be like, Josh, that voice actor does an amazing <laughs> interpretation of a cat. No, it's a real cat. What? <laughs> oh dear. Well, I, I think just if the cat doesn't go meow, then we know it must yeah. be real. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Now. This one I love. How do you get kids into museums? How, how do you get kids interested in, like, paleontology and such? Pokemon. You force them on a school trip? Oh, Pokemon, yes. Pokemon, right? So, mm-hmm. from March through June 19th, Tokyo's National Museum of Nature and Science is running a Pokemon fossil exhibit themed around extinct organisms and Pokemon. <laughs> Life-size fossil Pokemon skeleton replicas are on oh display my. in the museum. <laughs> Along with images of the Pokemon. My niece. <laughs> my niece. Who loves Pokemon and dinosaurs. Yeah, there we go. 
is going to go ape over this. <laughs> hey, kids, oh here's God. what Pikachu looks like when he's dead. <laughs> uh, here's when a Pikachu... squirrel dead. Uh, <laughs> that Charizard? That's right. Dead. Right here. Skeleton. Look at that. Huh? Isn't that neat? Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Like and again, I get it. Like I, I understand the appeal. Like like you said, kids and dinosaurs. Like it, it I, I I get it. But also just like a bunch of dead Pokemon. Great. <laughs> right. The child trauma clinic will be open next door right after the exam. Thank you. Just in case you didn't have enough of Pokemon, here's the new card game for Pokemon. Dead Pokemon. Because here's the thing. It's not Watch the kids, your child cry. It's not the kids who like go to the museum for the exhibit. It's the kids already at the museum who turn a corner. Right. Oh! <laughs> when did Pikachu die? <laughs> Stop crying, kids. It's just an exhibit to get you excited about the museum. I'm sad. <laughs> I don't like museums anymore. Oh, dear. Um, um, get me out of the museum. I quit. I give up. I'm going to become an idol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you just wait for your life. <laughs> So, your traumatized kid probably needs to go home and rest. Needs some sleep. Oh, God. Sometimes you just yeah. want some relaxing music to sleep to. Oh, and dear. what anime soundtrack is more smooth soothing than Attack on Titan? <laughs> <sighs> A saxophonist, pianist group called Gentle Love are joining Scarlet Moon Records' ongoing lullaby tribute album series called The Fit for Sleep. <laughs> Oh no. The series first anime themed soundtrack is called Prescription for Sleep Attack on Titan, which features soothing jazz renditions of tracks from all four seasons of the anime. Because oh boy. No. nothing says people's peaceful sleep like memories of violent anime murder. <laughs> <laughs> With gentle love, somebody in that in that group better look like Barry White. Just <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. I can't get enough of your Titans, babe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Darling. Uh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Um. I, I like this one as well. Um. The Takeshobo Shop held a 50th anniversary pop-up shop recently, and among the myriad of usual anime goods available for a couple of unusual offerings, a T-shirt and a clothes stand depicting not the anime made in abyss, but the series creator Akihito Tsukushi himself. Like, on a shirt. Huh. Now, the merchandise went viral on Twitter when Tsukushi commented on the official release tweet just saying, Why did this happen? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Fans pointed out, just... it is rare. It's a rare item. Fair, oh, you know. <laughs> Actually, I would love to have that shirt with his face on it with that underneath. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why did that happen? Why did that happen? My agent oh, talked with me about this, and I said no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, now, VTubers are all the rage these days, and it seems like everyone wants to get on the action, including, of course, the Italian Air Force. <laughs> I saw something about this last week. I was like, um, what? <laughs> a video is posted to the, on the Air Force's official YouTube channel introducing Azura, the self-described avatar of the Italian Air Force. Her first video introduced, featured an introduction of an ejection seat. Um, <laughs> the video is part of a new monthly series titled Looking Around with Azura. Because how do you get... I don't know. I, I don't know. I just... <laughs> it, it, it makes no sense. Um, now, Psy Games, which produces games like Rage of Bahamut and Grand Blue Fantasy, huge mobile game developer, has made a donation this week to an unusual medical cause, Cat Longevity. Okay. The AIM Medical Research Institute is dedicated to the research of the AIM protein, which is effective in the treatment of kidney diseases, a common chronic illness in domestic cats. A dosage of protein administered regularly from a young age is said to reduce the onset of kidney disease in cats, possibly even doubling their average lifespan. The group has been developing an AIM drug for cats, 
but was forced to t temporarily suspend the research due to funding is I issues. Incept Side Games, who decided to provide ongoing donation support for the research until the practical application of the, of the drug is realized. Um, Side Games Senior Managing Director commented on the donation, saying, having nearly 10 million cats in Japan are irreplaceable companions who enrich people's daily lives. Which uh, I can agree to. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> given that cats can, and I mean, live 17, 18, 20 years, a 40-year-old yeah. cat? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That boggles the mind. It absolutely does. And since they already treat us like we like we are their servants, mm -hmm. if you let them live an additional 20 years, will they what? develop sentience in a way that ends up an entire cat society and we serve no, no, no. them entirely? No, where this is going is cat girls. Oh, well, I'm on board then. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'll serve the cat girl society. All hail cat girls! <laughs> Our new benevolent cat girl master. Exactly, yes. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, all right, that's all the news the, uh, to fit this week. Thanks all for watching. We will be back with more next time.